Would you say then, okay, as somebody who's played at a really, really high level mm -hmm. and has watched the game for years, and obviously you studied in Swansea, as you say, the Ospreys, effectively for a time, the national team, yeah. that it's a coach... I'm talking about this, forget about what's not coming through. I'm talking about the 15 yeah. now. Is it a lack of coaching through Pivac and the others? Because I'm seeing more and more handling errors. I'm seeing more and more ill-discipline. Is it that that's you can't you? This is probably where I'm old school. Adam. Okay. Yeah. The, the players are culpable for that. The coach can't do anything about. I, I agree with you. I agree with you. Those those are those are. You maybe could maybe give a saving grace to you know the newer players that are not not got as many what they got nine hundred caps that they that they dropped between Ireland yes. and Scotland. Yep. Yep. You could excuse some people that he's going to obviously throw them in the fire, see how they how they cope, see how they deal with it. Most of them do okay. And, and okay, Ch um, Chisora and one of the other guys from Exeter. Exeter's a good team. Yep. A very well-run club. Yep, yep. They, 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 they probably do all right. It, they just haven't been given the opportunity. So he's obviously gone back to tried and tested. Mm -hmm. Not worked. Um, they've got to evolve. I'm dreading the World Cup because I looked at the after they lost to Ireland. I looked at the group. Thinking, mm, okay, Australia, Fiji, uh, Georgia. Okay, we should be Portugal because they straight they got past the US and the US is going back. They were going backwards. They lost to Georgia in the autumn. Yep. Fiji are not are not to. They're not a pushover. Right? They're not a pushover. Yeah. And Australia, pff, who knows? <laughs> you don't know so what, you're, what you're gonna get. Yeah. It could be the World Cup from oh god, when was it last time in France? 2007, all over again. Don't even get out of the group. So if they were to do that, they sack the um Gareth Jenkins straight away. But they tried to play Fiji at their own game in 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 the, in the book. You can't do that. Can't be for it. Can't be doing rug sevens as a Fijian because you're going to get battered. Mm -hmm. Them as a rugby nation is evolved from that. They can they they've got good forwards. They've got big. They've got big big bodies. They can play rugby now, and obviously a lot of the the uh, Pacific Island countries now are thinking about their players. So Australia is not going to be as strong. New Zealand is not going to be as strong. Tongans, the Fijians, and the but Samoans. Are forced to be to reckon with, so I I I don't want to be like di in total despair, but it's it's like I was very lucky in in my well twenties. I've seen three four grand slam. It's yes. a long time to go back before that to, to see to what Welsh rugby is that dominant. Okay, the seventies, everybody wanted to be the worst because it, it it was good to watch and it was, uh, and if if you could put the argument out there for the World Cup would have started in the seventies, well, we'd maybe have a few World Cups as well. But in terms of like looking into the future, it's like it's it, it's it's lucky looking into the abyss. It's like it's 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 not our game because obviously rugby was invented in England, but as in in South Wales, it is the game. I'd say football is probably pushing that, that people see that because Cardiff and Cardiff City and Swansea City have been in the Premier League. People look at oh, it's not it's not as brutal sport. Football probably get maybe paid. So people are looking at football as maybe more of a, a view to 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 prepare. So that only makes the situation more dire to to the extent. Obviously, it's it's, it's doing pretty well in the, in where I live in North Wales that we've got the we've got the under 20s um but there's there's no progression from the junior ranks to obviously the senior team because well why aren't these people filtering through because if they're playing for the national team at, at under 16 under 18 under 20s why is there a drop off that they can't make the grade at senior level whereas the women's Obviously, it's going strength from strength because they've got, you've got the the regions now. Um, you could go down the route of the uni universities. 
Um, so there is different pathways. So there's something that is, I, I think they missed a beat where uh, Gatlin was given all that money to focus on the senior team where they probably could have just distributed as I, and, and the media has brought this up in Wales as hey, hang on a second. If we give you all this money, we can't focus on the next stage. And I think this is the difference between performance and development. Performance has to be now. But in order to maintain performance, you need to develop. But that's why I was need talking to. to that point before about crossing the white line. I played sort of at a youth level, at county level. And I, mm. I, I, had, I could tell the difference between if you play wing, you play center, handling errors, for example, having that confidence to try something, whether you try and break the gain line, whether you try and fake a, make a dummy pass, you try and do something a little bit different. Mm. And you'll either have a coach who encourages that, kind of like what I would call like the Marcus Smith, where he'll try five things, three will come off, but that could lead to a score. Or the mm. Owen Farrell, who's a little bit more formulaic. Um, you've got two completely different styles of manage of, of coaches who... Mm, yeah, either... that's not, that doesn't work together. No, you can, no, you can I agree. agree with me with that. That doesn't... It's 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 show, shown that it's not worked, that they need to go... I'd say back to old school... One ten, when you World Cup. That I that but, I, that but, I agree with. But but the argument to 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 compare any ten to Johnny Wilkinson, you you you're on a hiding to nothing because of the success that he he was able to achieve. That he's one of the tens that is world renowned. That if you're not as good as that in terms of any any aspect of his game, it was great. And I think he probably would have done a lot better if it wasn't for injuries. Mm that you you okay you you could argue that defense is now uh pretty hard to break down and you've got to do some sort of marvelous thing but you only got to look at New Zealand they make it look like it, okay it's not it's not easy but as in they make it look effortless when and I would probably put them I wouldn't discount them from winning a world cup again this year because you could never count them out. Is is that there's that myst mystique about mm -hmm. just the, the the aura of the All Black, just the, the black jersey. It, it, it I don't say it scares people, but as in there's something about all of that that history and things of mm -hmm. of, of that nature. Of, does the hacker give them advantage? Probably so. Should you be able to obviously answer it back? Probably they'd probably love it nothing better than that because then it's like okay that's a challenge. Uh, to the, you, you you've got obviously England doing the V. Yeah, you win the semi final, but you don't win the game. You don't win the, the the actual game that matters. That's not great, is it? Because it's like yeah, you you perform well in a semi final, but you lose the game that actually counts. Because I, I agree with you there. Yeah, it it's it's all the way good beating quote on quote the best team in the world but you've got to turn up in the final you've got to turn up okay South Af I think South Africa probably wanted it more because it's every time they've won the World Cup it's been more for their their country so there was more backing for it as in um, what would it be 90... 95 five. it yeah. brought well, you could say they made, made for people who haven't seen Invictus the movie obviously it's it's based on on, on that to some extent but with really questionable South the, African accents let me just put that out there really questionable South African accents <laughs> well it's going to be struggle but as in it it was to bring unity to give totally. to, to give um, and I think the same thing issue would with, with uh, 2019 there's this issues going on in South Africa and to have a um a black captain win the the, the competition mm. bring the galvanize the team to come together um I think rugby's like that anyway it, yeah I, I, I okay in South Africa there's going to be disparity because probably there's going to be more white people playing the game because of access to to money to, basically to, to money 
Um, so there's not going to be that much. But you've only got to look at, say, rugby sevens. You wouldn't expect Kenyon to be very good at rugby, would you, in terms of... Oh, I don't know. Sevens is a completely different game. If you've got pace and agility and stamina... Yeah, but they're, 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 not, they're not renowned for... Even in the athletic no, world... No, you're right. They're, they're long distance. People, they're more they're long, long distance, distance people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, they do have tall people. In fact, my family's been to Kenya on holiday. The Maasai are big tall they're people tall. that can jump. So, so, so they probably do have people that are probably very... Um, Suited. Very suited to to suit to certain sports. Uh, mm. Rugby, I wouldn't have thought was one one of those, but I think that is one of the games that obviously it's the buzz of. Um, one of my family members used to be a physio after the Hong Kong Seven. I wish I'd have gone because that that one that that sole tournament has got so much prestige mm-hmm. that goes with it that is world renowned. Um, probably even outside of rugby, inside of rugby circles is is world famous. But of, of that, obviously, most teams are on even par. Level tier one, tier two, on a on a given day, you only have a few injuries things like that, and you'd have okay. New Zealand is going to be up there. The Fijians Fiji, are going to be yeah. up there. Um, England on their day can compete on on the day. Uh, Wales has obviously won a world, the the only World Cup in sevens that was held. Um, so the British team has done okay in the Olympics, more so the women's side. It's 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 for people that aren't the purest to rugby. Obviously, it's, an, it's a good game to watch because it's over in twenty minutes. So, but it's it's like game after game after game. And, True, and, and also because you've got fewer players, and it's a more of a ball in hand running game. Yeah. It's more it's more explosive. There's more breaks. There's a higher chance of scoring. It's end to end. It's got that Americanish feel to it because it's not so much about the tactical battle. It's ball in hand, quick ball, run. Make oh, a yeah, line but break. you you would you uh, would you agree, <laughs> Adam, that this kicking the ball back with like tennis almost like here we no, go yeah <laughs> it's boring it's it is but it's actually i think england was first to bring it in it's like like yes i i i i i i understand that you're trying to gain territorial ascendancy on the other team but it's boring to watch it's you want like, to see line breaks you want to see offloads well, you want Scotland to see big... did that against england they didn't expect him to run it back but i didn't expect him to beat seven players <clears throat> yeah, that was Vandem- uh, Vandem- Vandem- you don't need... yeah. uh, I can't remember how many missed tackles he said ITV or BBC it wasn't it's like maybe one or two it, if you're jumping out of dude's hands there's nothing much the best thing can do he he was going for the the toe tap somebody gets that the, the bigger the dude he's going to come down like a tree going to bang that try doesn't happen so yeah, it takes an enormous amount of skill, but I think for Scotland, it's probably their it's probably their time in the spotlight and their time to shine again because they haven't been very good since it's probably the late nineties. Well, this is what I was going to say because I liken Scotland for the last twenty plus years to what Wales potentially might be about to go through. And I go back to having quality players. Wales have got a better, they've got a better set of ingredients, and I think they could have a better outcome than the sum of their parts at the moment they're making handling errors and i think they're making poor decisions when they've got ball in hand do you go for rucks and malls front you know solid forward play or do you go for kicking points over like the neil jenkins damn bigger style or do you play a running game if you've got something like a shane williams but it looks like and so i don't want to throw coaches under the bus but it looks like Mm -hmm. wales have been missing an identity and they've had a good group of well, they players. Didn't, they didn't really have one with Pivac. He, it, with the Scarlets, mm. obviously they would they, but the, but that is the style of rugby that Wales is famous for. You know, throwing the ball around, running it. it but you need the players to suit that. Whereas with the na- with the national team, obviously it's Warren Ball. He's just smashing it. It's not very attractive, but if he's winning, you you, you could you probably could deal with it. Whereas <laughs> if you go back to, oh, what would have been the first Grand Slam, two thousand five, they played. <coughs> they ran Scotland off the park once they beat England. So one, what was it? 
Gavin, so we're going back. So Gavin William <coughs> Gavin, with, his, yeah. with Gavin, with, Gavin Hansen with Henson, the hair, yeah, with and the his, boots, the tan, yeah, and that last um, minute kick against yeah. England, yeah. So that's obviously that is the start of the revolution, so to speak, as in in Wales. And well, this is more. Was so that to, not was that not Steve Hansen era two thousand five? No, it's after it. After Steve Hansen. It's after, so we've had. To, I say three, four Kiwis and yeah, one but, Welsh person in between. Yeah, it's but they've been characters. building though. But that was they were building a cycle. You were getting a group of players who were, um, even when you think about, uh, was it oh, Ch- uh, Colin Charvis? Even that, even that period where Wales were one or two games away from winning, you were building. You had a, a pool of twenty players who could compete. On your day, you'd give anyone a game, anyone, and then you just needed to kind of get over the line. A bit like Ireland. You know, they had O'Driscoll and Gordon Darcy and all these kind of players. And it took them Mm -hmm. one, what was it, 10 years ago, 12 years ago, whenever it was, where they actually got over the line, beat England, I think, at Twickenham, got a grand slam. And now they've had a 10-year thing where they've been right up. It almost, you need that one. But but you had a group of players who knew their identity. Yeah, but the Irish, it's, it's, they've got solid foundations. True. Leinster, Munster. Yeah, true. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't put Con- I wouldn't put Connor up there with the fr- with the three fr- provinces, but as in, they're successful domestically, yeah, and in Europe. So that's true. The, the success breeds success. So if you then put, would you say Munster and Leinster together, it's going to cause there's going to cause a lot of damage because there's a lot of sim- there's symmetry, there's chemistry with those players because they play week in week out of with course. each other. Of course. Whereas, I'm not saying this is not an excuse, but with with Wales, with Pivac, definitely the the people are not being picked on form. Yeah, it was like favoritism. Yeah. I'm thinking, well, at the na- at the national team, it should be the, the obviously there's politics in this as well. But yeah. if the best people are aren't playing there's a problem because why why are the people that are performing at, at regional level club level performing okay it might not be your charismatic charismatic person that you're looking for the poster boy type every, co- yeah, every yeah. coach every coach has got one of the, even I face that in sport in terms of they had an, an ideal of what they were looking for. The golden child, that's it. That's it's my. It's like, well, most of the sports I did, they, that person didn't exist. Like, not even, even one of them, Rowan in particular, in my classification, they're still not six foot plus and 18 stone. So it was like this <laughs> ideal that, that you wanted to, to, to almost replicate what was working in the Olympic program and, and plop it into the practice. It's like, well, I'm not six foot plus, but I'm battering people that you're putting in front of me that way more than me. And it's not even a contest. So the, the, the argument of, and, and Warren did it a little bit in, in, in the first game against Ireland in terms of what went back to tried and tested. If they'd have been more clinical, it might've been a more, more of a, more of a tussle and have not been, uh, okay. They drew the second half. This is the story of Welsh rugby. It's either one half or the other. <laughs> they turn up one or the other. They can't put an 80 minutes performance in for a... Uh, and this is going back probably a long, 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 long time. It's like, oh, they nearly lost, but they lost as a, they won the match, but they've fallen off a cliff. Scotland was the reverse. They show up in the first half and they're garbage in the second. They can, when I went and go look at the, the result, because my family doesn't like watching it because it stresses them out. Um, so rather than just people out watching again, that I know they're probably going to lose. Um, and and obviously all this, the the hype of it was Welsh fans that were going up to Murrayfield were going up in hope, not in expectation. Mm. Whereas in the years past, it's like, well, we'll beat Scotland. It's just a matter of how much. Um, and that's no dis- disrespect to Scottish rugby, but. Did I expect them to only score seven points? And there's something obviously something wrong because to score only seventeen points out of two games mm. and conceding, I think it's like nearly seventy points. 
Whereas on the hand, other hand, um, well, Italy nearly beat France. I didn't see that coming. But they have beaten France in the past. To, oh, what did the BBC put as a comment? Um, England had a pragmatic win against Italy. I was like, I watched the game. It's like, no, pra- they don't. Somebody doesn't know what the word pragmatism means because it, it means it means kicking the ball away multiple times when you're in the opposition. No, but as in, it's, 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 <laughs> it's if you were to use it from a business sense, because uh, I watched um, social media video, of the rise of Singapore, the business person used. That's one why one reason why Singapore was successful was the pragmatic that they took capitalist uh, policies and socialist policies put them together. I wouldn't put that in the same ecosystem of England beating Italy. Mm. You should beat them, and normally it's fifty, sixty, seventy. It's a it's a massive margin because the Italians have be- beaten themselves in most cases uh, in the last twenty minutes. So to win by, what was it, eight points? Something like points. that, yeah. What well, it's relatively Italy, close. It was close. It, it's Italy are improving. Obviously, um, Steve Borthwick's only two games into his regime, so I'll, I'll, I'll give him some slack. Give, give him some time as as a. Well, I'm 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 quarter English anyway, so I, I win anyway all around, all around. <laughs> But in terms of, I wouldn't go to England to, to, more so from the media perspective because it's always oh England this England that that's why the Celtic nations don't like the English nothing to do with um, the individual it's just the media drum it's like oh, England doing this. yeah but what about all the other countries if they're in competition you should give them e composure because it's the BBC yeah but you know you know that the BBC and all the media outlets are just full of um, you know what it's it's all propaganda. It's all hype. It's all narrative. It's all whatever, whatever, whatever. Favoritism. They they'll never give a completely rounded story about anything. Well, that's journalism. So, but that's supposed to, this supposed to be by um by par- impartial. impartial and objective. Impartial. But going back to what you were saying about Wales, I look at Wales and England in the same breath, in the sense that you have a domestic game where you've got a scattering of talent, where you know you might have half the Welsh players playing over in England. But you've got players who are playing at the highest level. They are. You know, you've got players at Northampton. You've got players who will play in London Irish, where, wherever. And it was the same with England. And you bring them together. And if they didn't have a set identity, whether it be under Clive Woodward or whoever it might have been, then you had a really disjointed output. Because the players, you might have a very strong forward pack because of what... Um, you know uh say saracens or wasps or whatever we're doing at the time you might have an incredible back line if you look at what we had with mike brown or you have now what we had with marcus smith you know these are players who are playing upright attacking ball in hand rugby mm-hmm. do you have a coach who encourages that or not do you have a game plan and to me it looks like um, wales and england for no, the last no no it's not it's not really got an identity and it just went from bad to worse that's what i'm saying last and that's just year, similarity. Think, you're thinking you go into a game against Italy, it's like, okay, we've had a poor tournament. Of, I think it was like one, we've beaten Scotland. It's like, oh, it's, not, it's not too bad. Uh, I think any Welsh fan would take a win over England and who can lose every other game. That's that's okay. Um, it's it's not, and it's, it's still not satisfactory because it's like, that's still lose, losing record. But as in, it saves face because you can rub it for one year, you can rub it in the face. Uh, by going over the seven bridge and thing like that, uh, for 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 three hundred sixty five de- sixty four days till the next one. But to lose in the manner in which they did on the last game of, of the Six Nations, like to Italy, was embarrassing because it's like, well, they they're going for the jugular until the last. The I think it was like they won in the eighty second minute. It's thinking, why are you being so loose? winning the game why not try and kill it because enough enough experience to not give them a sniff because that fullback now is because he's running riot this season so that was probably his moment in the spotlight oh the doors open i'm going to take it did he expect to score probably not but to kind of go from okay we might finish fourth to finishing bottom in a like a split second, and then it just got worse. Not winning any games in the so, so if you're getting okay, I I I 
I get why the re- the the union is playing New Zealand, Australia, South Africa, almost everything because it's cash flow. But there'll come a point where people aren't going to go. Oh, it's, there's no there's no prestige about it because if you think of the teams in the seventies and the eighties and probably earlier, they did not play each other so much as they do now. They're literally playing. Okay, we'll play Australia, New Zealand in the winter. And go to a summer tour of Argentina, New Zealand, or like, well, it, it, they know each other so much. It's almost like if you were to do like a comparison with the NFL, when they go into their their, their actual divisions, because they play each other twice a year, they can scheme. They, they can be able to, okay, this person's good at this, 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 and this. We'll take that out of his game. We'll make him focus on his weaknesses. Give people high ball, see if they can take a ball under pressure. Um, so, obviously, all these nations that are on the ascension are coming up. So, should Italy be demoted and playing whatever the tier below is and playing the competition of the, t- the next, so like the Georges and things like that, thinking, well, George is no pushover. They've got forwards in France and England so the forward pack is good to lose to them you're thinking oh gosh this thing of relegation probably needs to come in and if I don't think England and France will go down but they'd have to be pretty bad that particular year but Ireland could go I don't think Ireland for a while will go down but say Scotland Italy or Wales could go down that's the consequence that's progression that's what's right for the regions won't uh, sorry the unions won't do it because we're talking about income because i'm not playing england ireland france the top tier of northern hemisphere rugby will people go and watch it um if the patriot the patriotic people will because it's the, what's on the badge it doesn't matter if they're playing georgia and i can't think of the next probably the next european countries on that list Hey, if you're bad, most other sports have relegation. It's only the American model that doesn't have relegation. So they, if you were to speak to an American, about American sports, what's relegation? But there should be a consequence of you being bad because ultimately you need to go back and kind of go, okay, we're bad. We need to look at our, our pathway and our development. And, and why why are the, the regions not producing or the clubs not producing for the national team like they were almost 20 years ago. That's that's not a long, long time ago. But there's two things oh. here, isn't, isn't there? Because mm-hmm. if you only had one tier and you were continually losing, so there was a, there's been a long-running joke in The Simpsons about the Atlanta Falcons who had all this money but were finishing bottom of their division. Or if we talk about, say, uh, Italy, where they've, you know, the whipping boys, the wooden spoon... Mm-hmm. There's only going to be so much where if you continually lose to these countries badly, people switch off as a matter of course and don't want to uptake it because they associate at that point in time being really, really bad. If you had a second division, like a Six Nations 2, where you could have the Georgias, the Germanys, Holland, Portugal, if you had a second set of six teams who were really, really competitive, then losing to them would have so much stigma. You mentioned earlier when we were talking about Wales losing to Georgia. If there's more awareness and kudos and respect on their name, when you lose to Georgia, it's a bit like in the football, in the FA Cup or something in football, a Premier League side could lose to a championship side. That's a giant killer. That's That's that's, true. That's fame. But the, the rugby is... I think it's a pride aspect because we're at the top of the table, aren't we? Yes, true. But We're one if... of the founding members uh, of rugby, that is almost, I don't want to say disrespectful. <laughs> it's an embarrassment because, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying George is a bad team. That I won't, I won't say that because obviously they, they, they get into the World Cup on merit. Their players, if they're good enough to play in the, well, in France and England, they're, they're very, very good at their position because they wouldn't be signed otherwise. But it's showing how the decline is happening very, very quickly because you only got to look at 
four years ago, we were one of the best teams in the world. So that's a massive decline. I don't, I don't, I, w I wouldn't even want to stipulate where we are in the rankings. Probably like ten or below. But because it's, I don't know, because it's 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 been pumped out more like from an indoctrination perspective, from a Welsh media perspective, it's our national game. We shouldn't be losing to. I won't say whoever because obviously Italy were allowed. To, I, I believe it probably maybe needs to expand to to seven nations. They probably won't ever do it, but Georgia deserves their the seat at the top table because they're better than the Dutch. They're better than the Portuguese. They're better than the Germans. And it's not even close. So Italy and, and Georgia... I think their games when they played each other being very, very close. So they're there or thereabouts. So they're not that bad. And okay, bringing in relegation, it it brings a little bit of destabilization. I would agree with that because obviously you look at the Premiership in England. Um, I don't know what they're going to do this year in terms of we're losing wasps. Losing obviously Worcester's not called that anymore. Um, um, six ways rugby doesn't even make no sense. But I'm not I'm not from Worcestershire, uh, and then bringing in another club um, to fill that void that there must be a it's almost like um, going into Red Bull territory of RB Leipz type Leipzig. <laughs> you buy I believe, I perceive that six ways rugby has bought that for, that club and then parachuted it in so that club loses all its history of I think Stourbridge and I can't remember Stourbridge and something else um, but what what do you what do you do because you've now lost two teams okay I think moving to to the Midlands probably was a mistake for Wasp to do but I think that's on on, on on review of looking at the, the circumstance and 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 Worcester would probably badly run. Um Saracens were very, very lucky to kinda kinda I, I think they should have been relegated and then you need to wage cut because I think what was the the, the playoff thing to yeah. come back? They battered the t the t the, 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 I think they won the, the, the playoff thing on the first leg and I think it was like Hundred and something, so it's like, well, you've you've breached a number of things. Foot cities are now going into that with the football. Mm. Um, so would, the, would these things get put into the into the spot? I'm not surprised now, because the 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 governance isn't strict enough in terms of you 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 cannot blame people. Because people are going to find loopholes. If there's greyish areas and you're not stipulating I can't go in it, I'm not saying this is right because it's not. Um, the same same with with tax and things like that. It's obviously, we're not going to go down that route. But as in, it, it is very, very awkward because it brings that argument of we can't have relegation because if you're bringing relegation into the national game, people cannot build for the future but coaches are not there for a long time of i loved eddie eddie, jo eddie um jones's comment <laughs> recently uh they was asked would, would he speak to any of the england team so i'll speak to the players but not the management so i i don't think he, he was sacked on very good terms because you wouldn't say that publicly <laughs> but those battles between Warren Gatlin and, and Eddie Jones is it, it it brings people in because it's like oh god what 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 mind games are they playing with each other to psych out the the opposition? There's none of that now because it's, it's Scotland maybe with um, Gregor Townsend, but I Ireland is there to be shot at. They're the best. They're the, they're, and they and they're backing it up. They can win. I won't say they won with Flair the first week, but they were the better team. Last week, um, I can't remember who the player is. The one that's, it's like, if feet, feet 
almost touched the. I, I think I think it did, but I think it got the benefit of that. You know, then his it was his feet in touch or not? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the ward, yeah. but it's like well, unless you're gonna like, like really really zoom into to these pix pixels. And then it would be so badly pixelated, you probably wouldn't be able to tell. That I think you got to give the benefit of the doubt of. Okay, we have probably gone. Union has probably gone as far as rugby league because some of their tries are scored. Thinking, well, the dude's not even got really con full control of the ball, so how can that be awarded a try in one, what what one code, and then the other one if it was to do the same thing, it's not, it'd be a knock on. Um, but when I saw it on social media, okay, well, I don't think it's a try, but I didn't see the tackle that the French person made. I've seen that yellow card in the box should have been a red. I think that, I think that's probably fair because then they probably would have scored anyway if the person they would have been maybe they'd been down to fourteen for fifty minutes of the game, if not more than that. So they are out and out probably the best team in the tournament. And they have to mess up in order to to lose it. So I think, I think they probably win the Grand Slam. Whether or not they do is a different. But they probably they will definitely win the tournament. I think you, I think they'll do the Grand Slam. I I, I can't see a game really now where you would think they're going to slip up. Yeah, but England can England can turn over anybody over on a given day. They love beating France when it matters. Look, they didn't do it last season. But as in England, probably would do that sort of surprise. You'd think, okay, you've been. Not very good for four games. That'd be the one they turn up, and I wouldn't be surprised. A team, a team. It's I, I, I like to be that kind of underestimated team because like, oh, this because there's nothing. There's no there's, okay. There's there's always a risk, but as in you are the out and out underdog, nothing to lose. I, I, I as long as I don't get beaten badly, mm. I can throw. Court. So they they might go for it. And I, I, I can't remember which way around it is. But if there's... Okay, they've won a few Grand Slams. In, in the, but that pressure is... I think it's at Twickenham, isn't it? So, I mean, there's probably a bit of credence to what you're saying there. Although Ireland's record at Twickenham... Oh, yeah, but the people say Twickenham's like a church. So that the, the the atmosphere is not hostile enough for... I agree. For, I agree. For, um, it's too passive. A, but, but then um, family said a good point. Our people go in there to be seen, and we're talking about Surrey now. So, is that person more like not not from a corporate perspective? I'm talking about that they're doing it because it's it's the rugby, it's the prestige of. Uh, it's H. I've been to I've I've, had, I've been to Twickenham for like dinner functions. It's mm -hmm. it's it's a it's a. It's hard to put into words in terms of how would I, I would express how I'd view the stadium, but it's it's impressive in in terms of eighty thousand stadiums. For Americans probably go, it's just not a big deal. We've got college stadiums bigger than that. But in terms of its it's it's I would probably put the principality up higher than it because it's um I love the tour guys for the for the I almost call it the Millennium. I'll call it Millennium Stadium because that's obviously what it was known for for so long though. Wales doesn't lose on Welsh soil. The turf's actually English, so they they can't technically ever lose on the pitch in Wales. It's English turf that they bring in on pallets, so, so they even boast about that. So I was like, "Well, that's that's," but that's only when you lose. But so technically, can't can't gain. They can't. I, I never. I should have said. I could probably, if I'm clever, I'd probably say, "Well, you can't technically win then on home soil because it's not. It's not. Not. It's not." Not, I don't know why it's not cultivated there, but it's very, very. And I've gone to the stadium when there's been no grass. It's weird. That it's just a concrete floor. It's very, very weird. Whereas Twickenham wouldn't be like that. Uh, the Viva wouldn't be like that. Murrayfield wouldn't be like that. Um, Stade de France wouldn't be like that. And let's see if I can get the set now. Stade Olimpico, because most of them are football stadiums, other than the the Viva and. Took them all year round, so there's... so it's so I think from that perspective, and I've gone off on a massive tangent now, so, so I've lost what we were talking about. How would you like them, if you can, the talent pool like we were talking about about, and the performance of now, and then the next 
sort of up and coming sort of round of talent with what you went through through the British Paralympic program in mm-hmm. terms of funding obviously m- money has a huge impact oh, gosh I, I wouldn't even want to comp- well as a governing body I think WIU is probably even way above the maybe I'm not gonna I, I don't know I don't I'd have to look at the figures I would say that they probably make more money than the the, the uh, um oh gosh what, what F, 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 FAW so in terms of we're comparing apples to oranges in terms of like from a if I just talk about Welsh mm-hmm. Welsh disability sport um we lost probably one of the the leading forces in that um just before before the new year but the the amount of development that goes into to Welsh athletes in disabled sport is it it's they they boast about it they make up I think the best return of athletes to who went in the games looks like 25 percent of the British medals came from Wales and and it was uh I think a um a 30 percent or more of developed so the, the so the other home nations in Paralympic sport look to Wales as they're not able to replicate it but for me all the athletes that come before me and will come after is, is a family in mm. terms of you want to help the next person as hey what can I do to doesn't matter what it is is it support is it praise is it motivation is it m- mindset what can I give you so you can skip a hurdle so I, I would say to to able boys support this to watching and listening to this to take a leaf out of disability sport Wales is book because it punch way b- b- above its weight of what's the population of Wales I think like three point something million under four million yeah yeah so to deliver on that stage every four years without fail to um I'm giving me that goosebumps just talking about it, but in terms of the development you feed off the other so, so if we talk about me personally i've got one picture behind me the other one's in the other room uh, of, of the games when i had no games to my name how do i do it what do i need to do da, 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 da. To, to the point that th- there was no uncertainty it didn't phase me it didn't scare me it's i'm gonna learn from experience of somebody else hey what did you do i can't I, and i'll try and replicate the best of my effort Whereas, if you looked at the WI, it got no freaking direction from the top. So, if the top is not very well run, the legacy of the performance director that we that we lost in disabled sport, Anthony Hughes, the person that's going to step up now is an ex athlete. So he's been there, done it, got the t shirt. These are the people that need to be in these positions because they know what they're doing. You can learn all those attributes of, 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 of I'll say running a business. You need to obviously have that, 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 that skill set. That's why, uh, I think it's the chairperson or CEO of, um, I want to call them the blues because kind of uh, RFC is weird. Um, but that's the capital for you. That's they, they got too big for, they get too big for the boat. But she said they need to be a business person running that company because I think they're worth 10, 10 million pounds. But the people that are running are rugby people. They're not business people. So if you looked at all the regions, they are run like businesses the purists don't want to hear what I'm saying, but as in sport is a business pure and simple. Now definitely in football, because there's no loyalty. What to some degree whatsoever with players, because they'll move if the price is right. Um, Rugby is a different story when it comes to players, because they're, they're looking for being able to be financially secure for themselves and their family after they finish playing i've got no problems with that make as much money as you can as little time you've got because you could have uh if we use are you still shane um shane williams uh sam warburton is the example he couldn't even play with his kid with his daughter 
because of the amount of the, 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 the pain and suffering he was facing after international tests. That's awful. I'm not a father. I'm not a parent. But that's that must be gun, gut wrenching that you you've put your body through the ringer, and you can't even play something that would give your son or daughter some enjoyment. So, the, what do they do? Obviously, there's an independent body. Gosh, what what things they're going to unearth is I, wouldn't shock me now in terms of. There was obviously the scandal, most recently mis misogyny. Uh, there was a race one, I think a couple of years ago. Do do I believe rugby is misog probably misogynistic? Probably yes, definitely. Definitely, I think ma male sport in general. If the put if a male didn't say they were sexist in some way or form, they're liars, and um, because it might be a. a, a uh, juxtaposition and, 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 and jest and a joke did you really mean it I've been brought up by my childhood my mum, my grandmother, my aunt if I say a comment like that it's like James did you really go there it's like let me explain but I apologise because I didn't mean it into be uh, having a dig at you personally but if even if I do it, and I do it around obviously people that have brought me up to be a, a pretty understanding grown man, some people that are in those circles of football or rugby are probably the worst. Of, of I'm not going to say the low of the low, but in terms of uh, homophobic comments, there's probably all there's, it's said in in banter but some people really mean it so what do the rwiu do gosh the, the clubs the clubs and the glass root of calling for people's heads and the heads need to roll you've got a serious problem and you've got a serious problem from the top down that that i won't say would uh, almost endorse the culture you're not doing anything to stop it, so you're pretty much doing as close as that. So by not confronting issues of, of sexism in the workplace, because some of the comments I heard on television, you're thinking, has that person really... I think the person said um, they would want to rape the person. And they've said that pub, pub, in a, in a, in in public in a public space and to me that is not even to think about that is unacceptable to to, to to it doesn't okay you find that person attractive but to go to that extreme and to, for the person to be able to hear that in earshot to say somebody's got to kind of go that's, that's that's serious that's that's not funny that's you need to come in my office now and do, why do you think that behavior is acceptable in the workplace? Because I believe, probably from my upbringing, equal, equal, I believe in equality. I believe, could be probably equality over the board. But as in, if you're the best person for the job, it shouldn't matter what color you are, mm -hmm. what gender you are, what religion you've got. If you're the best, shouldn't matter. But there's that disparity no matter what. So for your case, Adam, you'd be in the minority in the argument that we're living in present day because your opinion as a white male doesn't matter as far as some people are concerned that's a, that's not acceptable because you can bring a different narrative to that argument you might you we both as males may not understand how it feels to be a woman to to, exp to experience that comment mm. because we wouldn't wouldn't tolerate it with our mother our sister aunt be dude i'm gonna beat the crap out of you because you're not going to talk about a family member of mine like that you're going to take the consequences that you're going to get probably get gbh but for the person to think that it's okay to think like that but if you put it into perspective if you were to talk like that to you about your sister your mother something freaking wrong with you because you wouldn't do it so i'm i'm getting really really agitated with, with, with this subject but as in 
it's something that needs to be talked about because the culture that we live in because of probably this mm -hmm. access to porn to what you're hearing about how young boys speak about girls in schools that's going to get worse because in terms of being able to to think that it's acceptable to what what because of what you see on porn is it's not real you can't treat a person like that you can't be, teach a person like a piece of property that's obviously a different argument in terms of we go down that we're going into andrew tate territory but in terms of you you you've got to view women on par this this notion of woke is of we're talking about you know gender not helping because i'm i'm not having a go at homosexuals lesbians trans whatever you've got a right to that's your life as long as you don't flout it in my face i've got no problem with it but in terms of this is obviously making the issue more complex because people don't know if they're coming right left right or center well what's my gender today what's my gender tomorrow i know i'm a male i'm okay with my emotions does that make me a lesser man in some quarters probably yes because oh, i need to be strong i need to be busy like yeah but what's wrong with weakness what, Seems... what's wrong with me being comfortable with who i am so i know i'm coming away from the subject adam of of, of that issue but it it, it is culturally toxic it, no, I agree. A toxic environment they gotta kind of go need to put need to throw a grenade in there and start again and that's probably be going on oh probably since the 50s because you you, you 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 talk about um oh gosh what's the footballer's name Oh, Which one? There's been a few. Name. Blake, Blake, Blake. I can't think of his first. Not, Nathan, not Nathan, Nathan Blake. Yeah, Nathan Blake. The guy, he did the, a, his like, his, he, his uncle played for Hull in rugby league. Yeah, but he had to leave Wales because he would never play, he would never play for White, for Wales because of his colour of his mm -hmm, skin. Mm -hmm. He's got a street. He's got pretty much. I well, when we've come, when I've travelled from Belgium to come back to the UK and come back, uh, gone on North Sea ferries, no endorsement to the company, but. Um, the street going out to Hull is named after him. Another part of of Britain, very working class, same as South Wales with the valleys. How is it possible for them to embrace him and he be loved by two sets of fans that hate each other in the, in, in the sporting terms that he brought a city together, whereas... As far as the union was concerned, because of what colour he was, he would never play for the country. So um, we're we're talking of a generation that, well, it's my grandma's and she's not alive, but as in I've had that, the, the, when she was alive, I even had this discussion with her of, um, I can't remember what she said verbatim, but she's like, oh, I accept you, but not the black. I was like, and my mom let me take that for myself. I was like, I've got a problem with that, that you can only love half of me. And she was in tears, but I think it was more, more in the sense of, cause I stood up for myself as that's hurtful because you don't accept half of me because it's not, well, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say she was a racist. She was definitely, uh, I shouldn't laugh about this. Um, what's the word? Prejudiced. I think everybody's got a prejudice, and if people, I think most, most people, if they don't admit to that, you lie, you're lying. But it it does create divide, and it does create a racism because it's swinging too far from one extreme to the other. Because if you you were to ask, because my my dad's a, a, a American, I'm black mother's white so it's almost like a total disregard for one of the parents and britain's going that way it's like 
No, I'm comfortable being here. I'm quite up in the middle. I'm not sitting on the fence. I'm going to not cherry pick the best of both. There's good and bad. There's obviously, well, in Britain, we would, they've turned down Monium. It's only a few years ago because they didn't agree. It's like, that's Liverpool's history. That's Bristol's history. It's not, I'm not endorsing it. I'm not saying it's right. But that's not the city's fault. That's probably a couple hundred people. That's benefited as a result of bringing in um, slavery. Slavery still exists in, the, in this day. If you look hard enough. Mm. So, I know we've gone slightly off the, the, the thing of, of the, the, with the WIU, but they near, they really, as, as grown men, need to look hard up in the mirror in terms of what, what is it that we're trying to... Because they, 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 as a sport body everything that goes wrong with sport obviously look that look so be it, be it from this to british gymnastics with bullying to blah 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 it brings out obviously society can kind of go well sport's not so perfect yeah but society can learn a lot from sport because look at people of there's different religions there's different um, parts of society playing the same sport in most cases. We'll use rugby because it's easier because it's a massive... If we looked at Twickenham to say Wales, for instance, or we go from the home counties to sail up in not far from Maine and in, in, in Greater Manchester and Newcastle is a massive disconnect between yeah. the, the north and the, the, the south from uh, most things because most people don't like London as it is but because it's all done that I understand why things do it but if you're disenfranchising the next generation you're creating some of these problems because if the person's not able to be, well, they are outspoken, that's probably some of the problem, but as in, it's more like the blame culture. Oh, look at the, look at this dumpster fire over here. Yeah, but what about your own issues? You're not, you're not so perfect yourself. Um, so how do they resolve it? I think with the not, with the, coming back to the, obviously the on I think it need with them playing badly it makes it more obvious because when they were winning paint over the cracks oh it's no problems it's like there is but and when you paint over the cracks it's not helping the issue because you're just making it worse because you're not willing to uh, see the problems as what they are so it's almost like sweeping stuff under the rug mm. not great for for if you were to do that as an individual it's not great for your mental health. Because you're not willing to deal with that that issue, that problem, that adversity right now, and it could be the small, could be you making a mountain out of a molehill. If you were to willing to deal with it, oh, oh, it wasn't so bad. I wish I'm happy I dealt with it now. Or you wait months, years, as this has transpired. Because we're probably talking about decades. That it that is bad, and obviously we were talking about. First thing they did, they banned the song. Okay. Yes, the lyrics are unacceptable. The fans they sung it anyway. Out of, out of being rebellious. So I, I, I thought that was going to happen. I think we the first, and, and obviously the media had a go at them. It's like, you do that when you've got all other issues you could would take maybe a little bit longer to, 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 I'm not going to say resolve, but it would take a little bit longer to kind of, not, you don't put a statement out when this is now banned. It's going to take some due process to be able to work through and, and look at these lit litigations that, that I think that one of the ladies that put in, I think they paid her off. It's like, that's still emitting guilt because you, if you, if you were innocent, you were not paying people off. Um, same with um, Gareth Thomas. With his HIV thing, mm. it, it, oh, I, I don't admit, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not bashing him as a person, but 
you take responsibility if you're paying people off because that's like one way to get rid of the problem. Oh, I'll pay you a lump of sum and the problem goes away. Or I or I give you a injunction and think and oh, I can't remember the, and and oh, what's the, the, the me, me I can't remember what it is, but as in the disclosure that you can't give out information until until due course. That's hush. That's hush money. So Am I surprised sport hits this all time low? Because no. I was in it, I was in it. So, do, do, do I think there'd be that these sort of scat? No, but in terms of you, 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 you second guess and you look at your own career and kind of go, well, is that racism? Is that racism? Is is that bullying? Is so I've looked a hard, hard take at my own career in terms of when I've had like real low moments later on in life, thinking, well, you've messed, you've really messed me up in the head because you, there's no, there's not been this true, I'll call it safeguarding. This, the sport is not in it for the individual. It's for, it's, it's in it for the, the moment that that person is still productive. No longer productive. You can go on the slag heap. Your the problems that you've got, so be it you know players, rugby players with dementia, Alzheimer's, they're coming for the 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 world world rugby union because it's like, well, I think um, Alex Poppin put it. The, head, the headline is quite uh, out there because I shared it on on Instagram and I've been lucky to to sit down with him a few years ago for my podcast of didn't care about the safety of of players and it, it, it's only probably because of um the the african scientists with the nfl that you know concussion is coming to the fore that that's and you look at american football we'll say 20 years ago maybe last decade the players had total disregard for their bodies I'm going to throw my head in at somebody and it, it, it's you, you look at you just go to YouTube and you watch them. And oh, you have play. two 300 pound guys coming in at each other. You know, it, it's, it's massive it's impact. To, massive. To, yeah. total, dis, to, total disregard to your own health. It, it in a, in a, in a sane world, you and I are not going to tr drive down the road and do a head on collision with each other because we want to do it. But, do do the do the players of yesteryear have these issues? Don't know. You know, seventies, sixties. The pl players mm. were pretty much from one to fifteen the same size. That's true. Uh, you're going to look at health from a different perspective into that drinking, smoking, mm. and things like that. But obviously, that's a, a different thing. And, and but obviously, football's got its own issue with concussion because of the ball. In 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 in. Uh, Whenever it changed from a from a leather ball to to what it is today, That's and they've right. got hair concussion. So, I think sport needs to have a hard look at itself in terms of it believes itself to be better than everybody else. But if you've got a viewpoint that you don't view other people, regardless of the religion, the gender. Uh, the sexuality on equal footing as you, we've got a serious problem as human beings because at the end of the day, that's what we are. We're all we're all we're all the same, um, and this is um, taken from a from a social media one with person talking. You might have seen this, Adam, a white person talking to a Rastafarian in the street about the bot. You know the bot. If I put water in a bottle, like different colored bottles, what do you see? I got a blue one, I got a red one, I got a pink one, blah, 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 blah. But if you taste it, they all taste the same. So the so the the rationale that he was expressing was, I might have brown skin, you might have white skin, Asian guy down the road, he's got yellow, could be green, white, yellow, polka dot, whatever. It's a vessel. We've, we've all got souls. 
I'm going very stoic here and kind of going more e- moralistic and, and Eastern kind of thing. If we treated people with care and, and, and love and treated people with compassion, we'd have all these problems because we wouldn't really be thinking that we're better than each other. And, and the only reason of that is probably materialistic things. I need to be better than you. Yeah, but why? So we've almost been brainwashed to think what we do because that's so if you looked at things that are more from um down the tin foil kind of perspective the media tells you what it wants you to know what it wants you to think and that gets you thinking in terms of okay what 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 aren't you telling me what what is the what is the true what isn't real what is false what is this, that, and the other? I think most people won't do that. But in, in terms of our beliefs, at the end of the day, are maybe not our own. In terms of what we think is maybe being, I'm not saying we've been broken off by our parents, but this is a conversation I've had recently with, with my mother. It's like, oh, you think like I do? It's like, yeah, but it's not that you're persuading me to think like that. I think like that, but maybe I'm not as open about it i have been today but so but i'm willing to kind of go okay i might not agree with you on point a a c d f and point b is yeah yeah you, you're right and you might be in your 70s but you're not wrong and mm. <clears throat> i think we've got to a stage now in the world that whoever shouts loudest is probably right that's not right that's not even freaking a debate you're not willing if i'm going to shout over you to get my opinion to a crop it's very disrespectful to to you because i'm not letting you get in it edgeway that you see it on politics programs you see it on you name it it's like well if you're gonna have a proper debate i say something if you don't agree you say something back and keep going might find commonality we might agree at some point we might never disagree we might be here all day but that that's that's what i think it's a lost art in terms of that's how i've been brought up in mm. terms of, it might be because of uh where i was brought up who I was brought up by in terms of you know, old-fashioned values in terms of hey if we don't agree that's okay mm, mm. We might end up going to war because of it, but that's the consequence. But we need to mediate in the in the meantime of that. And I think coming back to the the the, the, the rugby because we were talking about that, that's maybe what the reunion should have done a long long time ago. Is kind of go okay, we're going to hear the ladies' point of view. We're going to hear the the people of colour's point of view maybe outsource it to somebody independent and they look at it and the facts will speak for themselves and then have have the the i don't want to call them culprits because you're not you 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 were in the past innocent and proven guilty it's the other way around i think now of your guilty and proven innocent and see that too and if there's a discrepancy okay why do these stories not match up and get to the bottom of it of somebody's line at the end of the day and it shouldn't be the person that's maybe got more more power and more sway more 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 money at the end of the day to get off because if they're, they're guilty mm. they need to be prosecuted okay going into the politic one we live in a country that's at the moment seems to be very un- undemocratic in Britain because the top are getting away with things that if like, you and I were to do indiscretions which would be punished much more severely than they're getting I, I yeah. think the HMRC would come after us um, in America the IRS for sure because well I, I'd learned some things you know I didn't know what a non-dom was until it came out <laughs> thinking okay but you've been domiciled in this country so how should how should you have something an entitlement if you were outside it, it doesn't make no sense and it's not like they can't afford it 
and that would I, I, and people would say if you you took some of that tax for just the the sunaks alone mm. you'd fill a lot of the gaps but we don't live in a capitalist society i'm sorry we don't live in a social society uh, yeah. capitalist. we definitely live in a capitalist yeah. society but if you went to the other extreme what is the socialist system Communist. china or com is china yeah, communism yeah people don't want that either no. so it's like well you don't want this so you don't want it i'd be quite happy is somewhere down the middle because i agree in principle with Jeremy Corbyn's policies, a bit of socialism. He, in terms of like equity across the board, in principle, it works. But nobody's going to conform to it because it's like if I can get more than I, I don't want to have the same as you, Adam, because I want to have whatever my ideals are. I want to have a big house. I want to have the, we'll say a Tesla as an example. I want to go on a holiday whenever I please. Two, two, three times a year to go skiing. No, nobody, nobody's going to be able to do that in a socialist system. And I think um, it shows my family <laughs> quite open to these discussions. We're talking about this. Even Russia is not like that. Or you know, even during the Soviet era of a socialist, because the ones that were in power, lavish houses. That are, the people that were actually doing, having to. To, to, to struggle to get bread with the ordinary person on the street. So it works in principle. I had a college, I had a university professor who was out and out, out socialist and I did sociology as, as, as a postgrad. He's like, I'm not going to influence you guys. And it would have been, I think it was one of the older students on the course. I think I was 25. So say 20 year olds, not going to influence you based on what I believe, because I came from, did my degree at University of Chester, he came from the valleys in Wales. So pretty, I could probably, you, you're a devout Labour supporter, you probably hate everything to do with the Tory government, Thatcher in particular, but he, he, he was that well educated to kind of go, that's my perspective, I'm not going to say you need to think this this way or not of of where we are right now in terms of what the fire brigade the the the, the paramedics and the, i've got no problem with them getting paid train drivers on the other hand you're thinking well you're getting 80 80 grand a year to push i'm not saying their job is difficult because i've never done it but in terms of like pushing the tube probably even easier it's, it, there's so many safety procedures in place because of train disasters, you probably don't really do anything. You probably sit there, oh, stop to, to, to let people off, let people on, next station. It's probably quite a nice job going from London to Scott to, to Edinburgh and Glasgow and coming back in a day. But if you're doing that every single day, it's probably boring. But if we only had to do it like, well, oh, that sounds quite a nice job. But you're fighting for, I would say, £80,000 roughly. It's not a bad living. Okay, if cost of living keeps going up, yeah, there's going to be people that aren't well off. But we, um, my my mother, um, um, when I was alive, worked for NATO. So NATO's, gosh, uh, probably I watched the BBC documentary the other night of Putin versus the. I've I've never seen something so biased. To and I'm not I'm I'm not I'm not. I've watched a documentary on him personally. He's he's a bit of a power freak. He, he likes the power, so he's, I'm not saying he's, he's he's wonderful, but it was so biased in terms of towards the West. Of it was almost like Russia's fault for for invading Ukraine. What they did, obviously, I, I don't condole because a lot of people have died. Probably thousands of people have died as a result of the U.S. encroaching in towards russia territory the us didn't like it and i wasn't alive during the cuban missile crisis and i speak to my family in terms of people were scared of it being the end of the world and it was probably pretty close when they were had missiles in cuba 
that's literally in their back door. I think people would probably, whether or not you agree with me or not, there's missiles pointed towards Russia and Poland, when Poland joined NATO. The next step would have probably been, if, well, we want Ukraine in, we'll put missiles there. And R- Russia kind of got no chance, no chance. Do they, does he maybe want to go back to the Soviet Union? I believe so. He probably wants all that territory back of Ukraine, Belarus, uh, what's all the other, all, all the stands, because there's a lot, a lot of wealth there. Oil, gas. So it's more from probably that perspective. Um, so coming back to my point in terms of like the social aspect with the, the, the uh, cost of living, my mother worked before she left, uh, well, the local area uh, to go work in Belgium. She worked for local council. And with the Labour government, she got a pay rise every single week. So if we did that with the cost of living, what's that going to then do? It's going to bring the cost of living up again and again and again. So the the ones that are going to be very, very worse off are the people that benefit. Um, not benefit, sorry. That's not very nice. The only person that's going to be do well out of that is the person on the, on the welfare state because they'd get subsidies. The person that's in the middle, you don't want to be middle class because you're the one that's going to get hit the most. So if you're not super wealthy or super poor, well, we want your tax Mm -hmm. because we haven't got... So people need to look at that as... And it's an interesting point of, yeah, if it's good that we want to pay people more, but if we pay people more, interest rates go up. The only way to do this, to go down, because the Americans are doing it at the moment, make people unemployed, and the interest yeah. rate will come down. So then we print more money, and then the thing will come down. If you have more people out of money, they're not buying as much. So it's a vicious circle in terms of, we're going into like the financial aspect <clears throat> of it now, Adam, uh, of the whole system itself is probably the issue. Um, and I think TikTok is good and sometimes bad because obviously it's a Chinese platform and it would probably want to manipulate people thinking in the West so they can get ahead. But one video I watched in terms of the, the, the wealthiest person in the world, and this is on record, is an African person. is a Mal- Malian king. And he was going from, and I, be- I believe Mali is... Oh, is this, uh, this is the Musa guy. This is... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he dropped. He dropped all the gold. He dropped. Give some poor. Pe- give the poor people in Egypt some some gold. Some gold bars. It. It wrecked their economy. It completely. Bankrupt bankrupted the country. So, in order to do that, and obviously the word economy is, if people would, I'm not gonna. I'm not, you can go and research that, but it's the word itself is bad. Um, and all, all these things in like the, the English language, you actually looked at government, the economy, thinking, mm, you know, mortgage mm. this is probably a big one. Death, death, death more, more in French, death, like a uh, gauge is something that is hold, held on you for thinking, well, why am I buying a house? Why am I buying a house with a mortgage? And, and I've got to have that for the rest of my life. I'm brought up in the continent. They don't do that. No, they, they don't. You're rent right. the house. And it's passed from generation to generation. I, I've, 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 I obviously grew up with somebody that has bought a house, and brought up on that same system. You're thinking, well, why, why are you, you conforming yourself to? Oh, he is British, but why are you conforming to something that you weren't? And, and people didn't have any problem with it. So, I'm in a fortunate state that the house I live in is paid for, and as long as I don't do anything bad between now and. and I don't want parents to die, but it's my house. So it's no mortgage on it whatsoever. And I'm to, I can do whatever I want with it when it turns into my hands. So, uh, I don't know what I'd do it because obviously it was my grandmother's house before that. So there's a lot of memories of me being a child. So that's quite a somber moment if you were to sell it or to rent out to somebody else. Cause it's like, well, if they wreck the place, you've, you, you've, 
wreck my memories of what it what it doesn't look like what it did like when it gets different color paint and things like that but as in it, it is is one of those things but you only have to look at that 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 king he did it as kind of his, of his heart he didn't have to give out gold bars to poor people on the street he kind of went that person is in suffering he goes I don't know what I don't know what you'd do with a with a freaking gold bar if you've given one um how do you catch banks, that in <laughs> banks probably wouldn't just like now nah, we're not we don't want that we don't want that because it's because there's obviously things with that going around of sil- people putting into silver putting into got putting into old old money instead of cash as a poke because it's obviously this big depending on if it's under the radar or not, you know, the CD, the CD BCs with the, with the, with the government, I think there's, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah it was yours, the, is it the Bitcoin you, you, you shared, wasn't it? On, on your, on, yeah, on it's, not. it's uh cryptocurrency. So there's, there's yeah. loads of them out there. Yeah. 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 But as in if the government's in charge of it, that's, that's, yes. That's, that's, for, that's, that's a power. So, so that's, that's what they're doing down, now. The, dig, the digital, the digital. Pound. But that's that's yeah. going down the, the the communist route with China. Of if I don't like what you say, <clears throat> oh Adam, you can only buy bread, milk, and whatever. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So that's not the democracy. Um, so I I I commend you for obviously bringing it into the the puppets because a lot of that thing people would have said. I would have probably said conspiracy a long, long time ago. It's like, well, what's so wrong with a digital currency or or um, an ID card? Mm-hmm. I grew up with an ID card, so to me, it doesn't really bother me. Mm-hmm. Um, and if people were real, it's, it's a card to say it could be your, if you, you're disabled or you're old, you got a bus pass. Technically, that could be cracked. If you're in London, you got an Oyster card or Freedom Pass, whatever, tracked. Absolutely. It's the GPS. Absolutely. Mobile phone. So people, I understand that they don't want to be tracked, but you got to be real. You probably already are. Amazon. Um, what some of the others? They all are. Facebook. E- every, they all, they every all, page. Every, every, every aspect app. of yeah, you, yeah. You t- utilizing your data to see what, what, what is it that you like what is it that you 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 buy? You could even say the supermarkets do it with the loyalty kit schemes, because then they have you. So, so or just Tesco's because it's the old one of the oldest ones. Tesco does it on places. their website. They do it on their website. Yeah. If you look at your favourites or your previous orders, they know what you like. They know your buying habits. All of yeah, it. they probably already know that anyway, because that's that's what psychology of a, the layout of a, any store. Um, because I was in um Sainsbury's a couple of months ago, uh, when I went for a, a, pro- a Lego po- process a Lego appointment, and they pretty much changed the layout completely. I'm thinking, well, stuff is nowhere, and staff were kind of going, um, the, one of them happened to be ladies. Like, oh, man, must have done change that. It's like, no, I bet you it was a psychologist, and it, it could have been a woman, but it's looking at almost on par with social media how long can we keep you on a platform mm-hmm. how long can we keep you in a shop mm-hmm. so, so that you that you're more likely to to buy to buy things and obviously we make more money so it's quite scary to see that it's a form of marketing it's got so sophisticated so so sophisticated that it's You've only got to look at Facebook. So say your ads. You've only got to go on somewhere on the internet and oh, this is popped up. Oh, what a surprise! So, so to me, obviously, it's quite funny uh, running running a coaching business because, like, well, what I've looked at, I may have no intention of buying whatsoever because it might be, uh, it might be, I don't know, for a topic that I'm I'm looking into that I look at a book. Oh, what's the what's the trending books in health and fitness? Not, I don't need to buy those. It'd be just looking at the to- what what is the topics within the books that I'm able to buy by looking in the sample section 
in which to kind of go, okay, I see a trend here. And then I'll obviously test it, see if my marketplace, do they resonate with that? If they don't, obviously don't talk about that again. Mm-hmm. But to, to people who get annoyed with that, doesn't bother me in the slight. I don't even think about it. Oh, it's in the corner, whatever. Okay. This may be a reminder. Oh, and, and same with not either TikTok, not yet. Instagram, I do, but it, that's quite useful sometimes. Oh, something popped up. Let me email it to myself mm-hmm. so I don't forget. Mm-hmm. That, I might want to check that out in the future because it won't come up straight away ever again for a, for a long time. And it's like, oh, I, I want, I want that. But I don't want it yet. I don't want it now, and that's mm. probably based on you know the, the the values of my of my grandparents. Of you know, you save now, you buy it when you absolutely need it, not want it. Mm. And I, I use the example, um, and when I was living um, in Reading, so living in Berkshire. Yep. Um. So. I spent oh what's the name of the shopping centre in Reading the Oracle. Oracle yep I spent almost two hours in a game shop <laughs> contemplating a purchase and kind of going do I need it do I want it blah 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 I what was the game again. what was the game um Madden I remember. Madden but NFL two, I, no no it was probably like a first shooter or something like that right right but but obviously I I I, I would use the game console to pass the time if it wasn't true and I, 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 would, I took game console to training camps and also, so I would quite useful. Felt like your downtime when you needed to chill. Yeah, yeah so yeah, to, yeah. to kind of let, let off steam and you don't really want to sleep and you, you obviously can't eat so you got to do something and you, you're in oh gosh we weren't in the middle of nowhere but I was in Spain and I can understand Spanish but probably my teammates can't but I wouldn't want to watch Spanish television <laughs> I wouldn't understand a lot of it so there's no point um, so you have the game console uh, so even even something as mundane as that I kind of went well do I really need it I've got the money to afford it but do I really need I want it but do I really need it and gosh this is in get. I'm surprised game is still going as a company, but that would probably probably quite annoying for the staff. It's like, is this guy going to purchase something or what, or is he going to leave? And I kind of go, well, do I want to do that? I think he probably going, oh, are you sure? I well, can always bring it back. But well, and they're, they've got part exchange as well, mm-hmm. so you can obviously get money off it. But for for me, that's based on values that I've been brought up on upon as. You know the need versus want. Everybody wants the latest item to 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 fit in. Be it you know iPhone. Mm-hmm. I'm speaking to you on a Mac computer. That's not the late. That's not the. It was the latest version when it came out. I'm on the M1 chip. But that's not because I want. That's not because I wanted it. It's because my business needed it. I've got another MacBook that's had to had to replace it, and we were talking on Zoom. On the other Mac, it took me an hour to get onto Zoom. It's that old. That's oh, not that old, but as in it's 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 it, it's the software. On, the software's out of date, and it takes it's time. It's out to of date, load. and it's been running for gosh, say eight to twelve hours a day, every single day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For Ten years. It's eventually gonna gonna struggle to do the basic functions of just jumping on a Zoom. So I'd have to jump on an hour before I needed to do something. That is not. Uh, cost effective it's not the best management it's of not, time not productive at all so I need to get an upgrade and that still took months because like well I need to get the I need to, to, to do all the reviews see how much better it is than the previous version uh, how much um, future proof so as I've well. got quite I got quite if... geeky and geeky into it in terms of well I need more CPU blah 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 and obviously we're now I believe it's two years old now. The computer, M1 chip, M M2 chip Pro. When the or almost uh, yeah, I was annoyed when the M1 Pro come out. I was like, oh, if I only wait six months, I'd have got a better computer. <laughs> so, but Apple is very very good at that in terms of oh, like, we won't update it really, just a little bit. Just release it. So say 
um i joke with my because i'm not a full co convert to I, I hated it at university i was like why are you going to pay a thousand pounds for a computer when a, a windows pc does the same i don't think like that anymore it's like windows p if you buy a windows thing it's pretty much obsolete once you go out of the shop it's just it's just depreciating straight away whereas a mac can take a couple of years mm. before it's or later a, a new version comes out but as in this thing probably lasts 10 years and you can still update it as it's going mm. the, the the ios as it, so it's it's technically still as good it's just its output wouldn't be as good as the latest one so I joke with ones who've got the phones, like, you might as well. I've got a Samsung, so I joke because it's obviously the camera and the iPhone is made by Samsung. But technically, it's Android, it's just overpriced. And they get really, really annoyed. <laughs> so, like, yeah, that's your trigger, so I'm going to push that. But so, that, so they almost have a gripe. Um, there's a program, I um, can't remember what it's called, but you know, with the, 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 all the captions that everybody get been able to put imagery, uh, I can't remember what it's called. And that was only out for 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 Apple, and and obviously that yeah. person came back like, "Well, you know, wish you had an Apple." No, I'm going to find something equivalent. I can do it, and I'll do it on here. Uh, and I'm going to have to obviously do an extra step, but the difference between an Android and, a, and an Apple phone is not probably that much. This was late as mm -hmm. when it came out. The Samsung Twenty One. I've looked at reviews of because it's nearly time for 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 a new one or a new contract. The twenty three is not better than the twenty one. Over over what it does, what's the point in getting a new phone? So where do you see it all going then? So if if because people get sucked in by all that advertising and people are getting sucked in by the newest and the and the biggest. Where do I? S oh, this is where you got to be a little bit more looking in so like soul searching and looking within what what's 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 what should the purpose of your i'm going quite deep in mm -hmm. terms of this what's what's the purpose my coach goes further than that it's like there's no meaning to life i'm not going that far i like there's going to be a start date i don't like the i don't want to envision the end that's obviously because um we're not like the cultures of india china mexico you know that they actually celebrate the yep well the the like mexicans obviously the 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 day that i'm weren't they they're the day of the dead, they're, they're dead. dead. yeah so technically we do have one is uh, all saints day november the first um but the day before is more celebrated all hallows eve yeah so so that probably needs to maybe be coming where do i see it going yeah because we've spoken about it, it's, it's now affecting sport. It's not just affecting your mass marketing, the gobbling up of consumerism. It's affecting sport now. So how do we how do we tackle this? You and... can't. You can't. You can't go backwards now. It's too hard. And we're going into AI now. Mm -hmm. So, well, Facebook is the is called Meta, but as in the metaverse, for me, we're going now into movies. So be it um, what's the film Player One. Yep. And he by it, it, that person was escaping reality because his life wasn't very good. So if people are going away from the typical of you know drugs, drinking, sex, da -da -da -da, as a as a vehicle to 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 survive, and now you're using alter, uh, virtual reality to escape, and you can go anywhere in the world. Where are you going to stay? You're not going to you're not, you're not going to function in the real world. Oh, I'm going to escape my problems and I'm going to go to somewhere that doesn't exist. So it's it's I'm painting a very very morbid future. That's not going to be the reality for, for a lot of people because uh, the pandemic has uh, proven that people are willing to adapt to to adopt and to change it was short-lived for a lot i wasn't surprised when it came to health and fitness because it's like oh yeah i'll i'll i will not leave the house for six weeks i've got no problem with that that turns to six months i'm not doing that and obviously it might be transpired that was all a lie so 
you've been in a you heard about these 15 minute city in oxford haven't you or the the climate change lockdowns that they're looking yes to. yes 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 britain's not gonna brits are not gonna it's like yeah whatever no <laughs> no it'll be anarchy belgium's done it there was civil unrest on the streets that they had to bring in the place and um I grew up and I never see they're using water, uh, the military and water, water cannons on people to push them down the street. You, 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 you're going to see this civil unrest. I don't know if that's what they want because then they can obviously be more draconian. But people, when I've, when I've actually looked into it and you're thinking Australia, Australia, there's a dude on social media showed it. It was a, a board in the, one of their parks. It was tracking data of when people were using barbecues based on their, the GPS of their phone. The government shouldn't know that. The government doesn't need to to, to, to know that much into the, the days in and out of how I operate. You're supposed to govern me based on what we decide. We the... I'm not, I shouldn't say we the people because it's a very American quote. Yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. You're supposed to do as what we dictate. There's only... I don't know how many MPs are in, in Westminster, but there's a lot more of us. But we need to come together. So these are all distractions, I believe. As if I can uh, bring attention off what the important issues are, I can create create divide, I can create infighting. You're not going to really, you're not going to see the, 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 the thing that I want to push through because we're too bold bickering about an issue that doesn't really matter. So it's like you said earlier, it's the dumpster truck fire. If you make, the, if you make the dumpster it, truck fire over here to, have, to get the attention. So, over there. so sport is one of those vehicles. Cause why are people paid obscene amount of money? It, 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 it begs to, to, to differ as in, okay, well, I can't remember the person said it's all it's it's sport more so in the US is like the circus of Rome. So like the the Colosseum, uh, the hippodromes and things like that. So the emperor would use that to control. As if I can make you happy through people killing each other, chariot race, blah 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 blah. I can do whatever I want. So be it okay, Julius Caesar is absolute emperor so so this notion of one world currency one world government i've read 1984 and um what's the film viva vendetta i've seen yeah yeah i don't want that because I, I, wa I want some autonomy on my life in terms of i'm i'm going to appreciate that life is tough life is not easy life is you, you could have this debate i, I did it on uh, my facebook and people were like well some have it easier i'm not disputing that yes yeah, some people have it R R rishi sunak has probably had a cushy life if he doesn't if, he'd probably say it's other, otherwise and he doesn't understand the the single parent mother living in a council no chance You've gone to one of the best schools. I didn't even I didn't even know about Winchester College. I know um I've got a cousin who went to Eton on a scholarship because he was a chorister. Eton's probably not cheap. Harrow, blah blah blah. It's it gets you places because you mm -hmm. you you're rubbing shoulders with You're in that circle. You're in that you're elite. In that, so so yeah. you've already you already got I'm not gonna say an advantage. You've got an, uh, you've got a, um, I don't want to use the word. I almost use the word. <laughs> Government is level up. As in, you've got already a leg up on other people. So, uh, the, the and I'm watching this this morning. Um, and because the person got the person the the news reporter wrong. It's Andrew um Andrew Ma, mm -hmm. and he went thirty three because he was talking to somebody that believe there's racism like 30 percent of white kids go to university 37 percent black and then up and up i think they should probably put the asians all together because i think the indians was like 
60 something and then the Chinese was it's like there's a surprise the black people being more than the white that that's obviously a little bit more surprising mm. but you're not going to get into Oxbridge I don't think it's that surprising because if you listen especially to African families of those traditional values they do want education for their yeah children. but then you'd lump all them together but you wouldn't think of uh Afro-Caribbean as there's a stereotype of people from the Caribbean as quite lazy. Okay, yeah, fine. There's a stigma, yeah, yeah. So that's probably why the Africans probably wouldn't be you wouldn't oh, right, want enough yeah. all to get no, all together. Enough. So yeah. no, I meant I meant, I think I think probably probably because the 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 ladies because you black black lady she'd probably think oh the blacks are bottom. So that that argument is like well, okay inner city kids in london it's probably more than likely less than 50 percent are going to go to be able to get into oxford or, oxford oh, or cambridge yeah that's absolutely. a fact that's a fact um me being of mixed descent did i want to go to oxford no so oxford and cambridge aren't universities for what i did this sports science is quite relatively say in the last 50 years as mm -hmm. a degree it's not what you put in the classical realms that those are you famous for it, yeah well you, you if you if you happen to stomach on the boat race some of those degrees you're thinking well how, how's that going to get you a job like it's what you're studying some of them are masters so but a lot of the the pink people they're bringing in are international athletes from other countries so the canadians the americans the kiwis the oh yeah the, uh, yeah totally and and they have because they... Bri Brit Br british athletes at one point the, the the performance director gave the british athletes a choice you represent gb or you go to oxford and cambridge you choose if you go to oxford and cambridge you will not be selected it wasn't as blatant as that but it was pretty obvious so there's only been one or two in the last 10 years that have been had success in the national oh no obviously they had a disastrous olympics um but to go from 2008 was the most successful london then they they managed to go better than that that's not sustainable because you're not going to keep the, those athletes as long because oh well most of the ones that i was on team with and I wasn't on the team for very long, I was on the team for five, four years. Did maybe two Olympic cycles, so eight years. So they got two. And that's probably about it. So say in the prestigious, prestigious four, that obviously Redgrave obviously mm -hmm. we won five gold medals. We did win five in in all in oh, the he, he, no, he he won he but, was in a pair for two, wasn't he? Or three. And then yeah, he was so a, you, yeah, you, yeah. you to to do the the longevity that he did which I think is, I think is more, more impressive mm -hmm. as an Olympian than say, uh, obviously Chris Hoy has beaten that, but he's in a sport that you can win multiple medals in one game. Yeah. Red, maybe, Red, maybe. Redgrave was in one event per games, wasn't he? He had to go for the, uh, he's, he's got five goals and a, people don't know this. One bronze. Oh. It's not, he's got, so he, he won. Games is that? Was it eighty four, eighty eight, ninety two, ninety six, two thousand? Was yeah, it? Yeah, I think it's the I think it's the Barcelona game. Ninety two. They got a bronze as well, but, but oh, be right. because the the bronze was the literally the event. I think it was maybe one race between it. See, that'd be very very hard to recover against people that are fresh. Oh, totally. And then still get a bronze medal. So, um, I wouldn't. I don't knock him because where i was training every single day for four years his name's on the wall multiple times mm -hmm. it, it's i um and i i, I didn't have the pleasure to ever speak with it because it's more it was it's he was very intimidating to it's like well you're you're the best at that time british olympian period that i i don't really i don't know why i felt this way but as in i don't feel that i feel comfortable i can speak to you unless you speak to me whereas uh, the coach, on the other hand, Jürgen Grobler, would speak to me quite often. So that was to speak to somebody that was, he retired, I think, at the right time. 
because he did it before it affected his legacy. He finished mm. on a on a high note, and he would show interest in the Premier League. We'd say, oh, da, 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 da. and and that the the culture that British rowing created, like the only time they were separate was Olympic Games and Paralympic. That was it. World champs, same team, same. T- so I I was able to to learn off. You know, gold medalists, the best in the business, the board, so the, the best. best. So, yeah. so my first games, there's almost an expectation going to China, as well the the because of that one man, almost like re resurrected uh, British <laughs> Rowan and then uh, Matthew Pinson, James Cracknell, and then what's followed after. It's a culture, as in, well, I don't want to let the side down. I, I want, I want, I want. I don't know why I want this gold medal, but I want it. And I probably could never even answer that question. I don't know why. Why? Why do you want a gold medal? Um, but that was my definition of success when I started. And I, and I've spoken to hundreds of hundred athletes now because of the podcast. It's not great as a motivator. Um, it would have been nice to know that probably twenty years ago to kind of go, okay, yes, it's it's wonderful that you have that goal of. Of wanting being on that on the top po- ped- uh, pe- top pedestal on the top po- of the podium of the rostrum, but what's going to be the motivator on the days that it's miserable, it's bleak, it's dark? Okay, we're getting better now because we're almost into spring. But what's going to motivate you to get out of the bay at the days that you don't want to? Yep. I spoke to an athlete that spoke to me as a 16 year old and, and I made him be, I'm, I'm 36 now I spoke to him when I was 35 I think he's like that would make him about 55 years old so he didn't like that I brought that up but I wish I'd have asked him more questions because that's what he was there for from coming into speaking to at that time I was in uh, British Swimming into to our development program he was in the performance team and you should probably a lot of the people are still competing now, but to ask those questions that I would maybe more reserved, shy to do. Whereas it's like, well, what's going to get you ahead is asking questions to kind of go, okay, well, Adam, what did you do to become successful? If you're a kind person, you're going to tell me. You're going to kind of go, oh, I did this, did, did, did this. Um, this is maybe one of the mistakes I wish I'd maybe done differently. This is going to be something you can learn learn from more than the actual success. So, I think people focus on the the winning too much because it's like oh, it's like well, there's a lot of hard work that goes into to that. And we obviously talked a lot about the 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 rugby. We did. Gatlin changed the culture. He did. You know, brought in the crowd uh, the crowd chambers. Uh, the way that they trained, all, all all things was probably light years ahead of mm-hmm. <clears throat> everybody else at the time. Um, where my aunt and uncle live in Virginia Water, their Italian restaurant is where the England team went up until they won the World Cup in 2003. And I joke and it's like, well, maybe they should start going back and then probably be more successful. The business probably would love that because it'd be, we got say 50 people, we got to close the restaurant going to do fairly well because they're going to eat a lot, a lot of a lot of food but that's a culture that Clyde we were brought in to to, to, to I guess the the, the restaurant Virginia, Virginia water is about 30 minutes I think on the train from from Twickenham so it's not it's not that close but to 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 find a, something that is bringing a bond the lions do it British and Irish Lions, doesn't matter if you come from Ireland, Wales, Scotland, England, one team, one objective is to beat whoever it is on, on that particular series every four years. Or beat, if it's New Zealand, it's beating Australia. And we're going to, um, and obviously some people wouldn't like the fact that he was Lions coach for some time when he was supposed to be, obviously, my mum doesn't like it because, like, well, he's supposed to be head coach of Wales. Why is Rob Howley leading the team and then they're not winning? That's probably a very hard balancing act to do because he's trying to select the best team that's going to do right by the British and Iron Lions come the summer. You can't do both. Um, so 
coming back to my point with the winning, that's probably where the materialistic thing comes from. Mm. It's a nice shiny object. <clears throat> but that that you see from school age all the way up. No, you're right. So is it a case of we want this nice shiny <clears throat> object because we want it and um, is it Gary Vee or the, Tony Robbins I think asked one of the people in the audience that why do you want a Mercedes Benz is it because it, what are the what the status brings as a result no, is it Mercedes? It's either Mercedes or BMW. I can't remember which one. One of those marquee. One of those German ones. For me, obviously, I've never... I don't care. So th I worked in education for a little bit as a teaching assistant. And, you know, the, the kids were like, well, what car do you drive, sir? What car do you... What does it matter? If it gets me from A to B, you've only got to listen to rich people. They drive some clapped up old car for ages. And they're millionaires. So th this this going after something, you need to look at why. Because the, the BMW, the, the Mercedes, the Audi, the Tesla, we'll put Vauxhall in there because that's probably like way down the list. They all do the same thing. They get me from A to B. And obviously, some of it comes with a little bit more clout, a little bit more prestige. Okay, the German cars have been <laughs> shown to be liars, but and there's because um, um, we've all, we've had a lot of um, Toyotas. Mm -hmm. I don't think in my lifetime, my family has not owned a, a Japanese car. But if you hear my mother and father talk about before that, they were pretty much useless in our climate. It's very strange when a, a Japanese car can't deal with the rain and, and Japan, what I've seen from, from, from videos and pictures is quite got Mount Fuji. It's got, they've got rain. So why wouldn't it be able to be able to, okay, it's slightly different, but why wouldn't it be able to live up to the rigors of having to, to, to do with Europe? but they've pressed on with it and it's got more consistent and it's mm -hmm. got better to, um, well, it's the, at the moment it's the best rallying car, car company, um, company, um, Toyota. So, and they brought something. So, so we, so I'm coming to my point and um, we bought a recent new car. So the salesperson hated me. It's like, yeah, but what's the difference between this and that? What's the difference between this and that? Because my last time my mum went to the showroom, she bought a car. Didn't want it. She would need, she, oh, sorry, she didn't need it, but she wanted it. So we've got uh, the one outside is one of the limited edition ones. So the the, the red Yaris. There's only I think it was only five hundred made. So it's very very unique. But there's still four hundred ninety nine other ones worldwide. Mm -hmm. So it's not that unique. So the new one we've got is or getting in in May is uh, oh gosh the the cro the Yaris Cross so mm -hmm. the, the, I can't say say the Rav had a baby with the Yaris and that's the result. But I made his job hard because it's like well I want to know all this information, um and because it's on finance so technically they'll buy that one back and then taking off the other one yeah yeah yeah. And then they can, because obviously hybrids are well sought after. Um, electric, probably a little bit less so. I asked every and the question. I want to know this. I want to know this. My mum, as a result, I think she asked me before she asked the, the chap. It's like, oh, should I ask? If I was to die, what is James's responsibility toward that? He's like, oh, we don't want to go there. It's like, yeah, but that could happen. It's it's a eventuality nobody mm -hmm. wants to think about. Mm -hmm. but that is something that could happen tomorrow. I don't want it to happen. What was the response? Um, they would take out the finance company altogether, not tell them, 
if I couldn't afford to make the payments, they would buy it back off me and give me some. I, whether or not they do that, I don't know. But right, if I were to record it, it's like, well, as long as you're still at the company, I've got that on. I've got that on record. You said this at this time on this mm. day, and the, and you can't go back. Obviously, I've only got it to mental memory, but I guess it was. How many cars we have from that deal? Is it about the, probably the fourth one. So I guess the, the loyalty is because you keep going back in yeah. that circumstance. We're gonna not tell the the finance company because they would probably come and take it off the driveway. And of course, they see it. They see it as the asset, don't they? They only want to look after it. It'd be the collat- it'd be the collateral as well. That's the asset. It's not worth as much as it was, but we'll take it and mm-hmm. we'll see what we can get for it. Whereas. Co- the car dealership would probably give me something to then because they don't owe they don't owe you anything. But I I'm probably skeptical. Like yeah, whatever you'd probably do and say whatever to to sell a car because um, that's what car car um, salesmen are renowned for is whatever and and there's what give sales a bad reputation is because what the tactics they've done down the down yeah. the years but it, in terms of that it, it's more so because we've got a a rescue greyhound mm-hmm. getting older can't get it. The, mm-hmm. the the back seat's not the easiest to get into because go climb over the wheel arch that car will probably be easier for him right right me, me having a disability um getting a bit older be easier to get in because it's Still, you sit down absolutely swing, swing your leg so i think it's looking more at the necessities more so than okay it's nice to have a new car every two to three years nice to have a new phone depending on who the supplier is every two to three years but are these things improving relative to 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 what the the previous um generation is in some cases no some if you looked at apple are are they since steve jobs has died how are they doing what's best for the customer no no they're Would not he be rolling in his grave probably so because that's what he wanted to do it was all about the customer and that's what made them stand out because they listened they innovated and obviously they did something that was new mm-hmm. so is that company going against his values? One hundred percent, yes. But is every is every major uh, company doing that? One hundred percent. So how do you buck that trend as a person? You you've got to be willing to to look at these hard, difficult decisions and looking at needs versus want. I, I every, everybody wants what they don't have. But is that thing going to bring you true happiness, James? What's the na- what, what's the name of the podcast that you were referring to earlier that you, where you've had your guests on? Uh, my podcast is the Mindset Athlete. The Mindset Athlete. I need to get the links from you and also all of your handles so I can put those in the description when this goes out. Because to talk about your coaching, your career, your podcast, obviously some of the points that we've touched on today, obviously for people to be able to find out more. Mm-hmm. So if you can send those to me, I'll get those not into the problem, description. Not- not a problem but i think that's kind of been my evolution adam so you kind of get well and that's obviously why the title um i sat down he doesn't actually work in podcasting like agencies anymore but i had like a long discussion as Mm -hmm. well what's the purpose of your podcast what is it that you want and i never thought about it it's like well i just want to i think when i think a lot of people get into podcasting because they want to monetize and I did as well at the beginning. It's like, oh, what, what, what's the quickest way I can make a quick buck? Podcasting don't work that way. No, it's a slog. Unless you've got, I can't even think anybody relative to Joe Rogan. You can't just do it. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna come in this this new space, and I'm gonna demand. Um, and Gary Vee was talking about Joe Rogan's. He's the only podcast that directly at the front end promotes his own stuff and gets a return because he's obviously got 
um, this is uh, call it an endorsement with Spotify. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. The only podcast that does that. I'm thinking, okay, it probably won't be the only one in the future. But you're thinking, whereas for the majority, you've got to either do it on the back end. So, oh, if you want to know about this service, go to this mm-hmm. next. Or say, mm-hmm. I've not listened to Lewis Howes' podcast in a long time, but the School of Greatness. That's one thing I don't like about it. I was like, come on. I don't want to hear all the ads. Let's get to the good bit. Yep. Because um, I can't fast forward because then I might miss something. Um, but a lot of his, a lot of his things, uh, he's got a book coming out as well. Um, and, but I think that's where a lot of people get annoyed. It's like, oh, I don't want the ads. Yeah, yeah, but we've got, we've got to make a living somehow. And not everybody will want the service, the yep. product, at that particular time. But what you learn from, from that particular...